<laughs> One experiment I uh, tried with a previous video, which you won't be seeing, um, due to the fact that the music was far too distracting. I thought it would be a good idea. It's not going to be good uh, doing recording for um, uh, these videos is um, that Martin Sturzer dude from Germany, um, he started a, he has a playlist, a stay at home concert series that he started, you know, when the pandemic hit. And I was like, oh, I think it'd be a good idea to see the progression of the change in his perhaps musical style. Of course, it's not just going to be connected to the pandemic. You know what I mean? I mean, he's going to develop as an artist and so on and so forth and other, um, you know, things are going to affect him. But his first one is so distracting <coughs> for background music in my head. But I need that background music in my head, I figured out, to um, uh, keep other bits of me to sh shush, is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, so here we are. I was talking to Zoe about it a few days ago, um, or even uh, later than that, that... Um, I kind of feel, uh, God, Star Trek just keeps popping up over and over and over again. Um, is kind of like this, uh, it's the last season of the series. You know what I mean? Like I'm in the last month coming up and um, yeah, it's you know a lot of reflection and trying to figure out what I, I want to talk about at the end of this uh, whatever. Um, but I was also looking at the the four major players, and I'm sorry, but I'm only one of them. Um, and I'm the way I'm looking at it is I'm there's me, um, there's the Russians, there's the Germans, <coughs> um, and there's and there's the Austrians. Um, as far as I'm concerned, only the Austrians at this moment are playing by the rules. Uh, Borevich is, he's doing his thing. Um, what's going to happen maybe at the micro level? Is, is there anybody going to break the rules? I don't know. Um, I've obviously, everybody knows that I've broken the rules by now. The Russians are breaking the rules maybe um, in the sense that all this Energy was spent towards the, you know getting the supply points here and now everything is being directed towards Lemberg man everything The Germans this whole sneaky covert bit to try to nail uh, the Stavka and, and Nikolai uh, Yanuskevich over there um, and this massive diversion to um, you know this oh here, there, and everywhere, and then poor Berevich gets popped in at the very end. Um, <coughs> I don't know, man. This has just been awesome. But I think no matter what's going to happen this month, it's going to be an effing bloodbath. Um, the Russians are going to be pouring more troops and, and ammunition than I think except for maybe the September offensive with the Austrians when they uh, pushed towards Lublin. Um, oh God, they were so effing close, it was nuts. Um, that was a lot, of, a lot of damage. I guarantee you somebody's gonna take this bridge and I'm probably gonna bet my house it's the Russians. Oh, fuck, that's gonna suck. Well. You gotta remember, I've got a soft spot for these guys. Um, uh, what else? Hmm. I uh, remember I said there's gonna be a bloodbath here, and it's weird. At first, I thought yes. Secondly, no, because I'm not sending anybody. And then thirdly, I'm like, yeah, now there's gonna be a bloodbath. The Germans are sending troops, ammunition this way, and you're sending nothing. <coughs> oh my goodness. And here, the hell man. The Germans have committed. They're sending a ton of stuff that way. They're stripping garrisons like there's no tomorrow. They're biting at the bit for their turn. I'll, I, will, I will say this though. 
As the German player or the Central Powers player, I was so flippin' happy that the Russians won the initiative. I wanted to see how they are doing things, how they would react to our actions and, well, um, okay. Um, I'm shocked as a Central Powers player. I, I can't, you know, I'm not supposed to be thinking that way, but um, I'm scared shitless. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? You're not supposed to be doing this, like, because I'm like, uh, wait a minute. I didn't repair the rail lines to send troops that way. That was a calculated risk. And now the Russians are just going to be pouring every, I'm like, uh-oh. And so I did not expect that, is what I'm saying. Um, oh, fuck. So what happens now if the Russians... Like Renan Camp and uh, Rosenshield, uh, the commander for SC1, knows they're not going to have uh, supply points coming. No ammunition, nothing. So what do you do here? Are they going to expand to try to protect their... I don't know, man. I just don't know. Maybe that was a good thing to... Like it's going to help the central powers in the sense that they won't have anything. So they want to condense like a nucleus, you know, get that... It's hard to break them apart, that strong force and all that stuff. Um, uh, I just, um, it's going to be fun to see, man. So what I'm saying, like I, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of some, and then I'm going to be doing that um, sock double down thing of a jig. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, thanks everything, man. Like, thank, well, thanks everything. Thanks everyone. Um, well, thanks everything and everyone. Um, yeah. Holy moly. Yeah, so everybody's gonna, like, screw it. I'm not re-going with it. Supply points, strength points, everyone. You do what you can. Cheaper's jumping. <laughs>